Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne. We are jumping in again. This time we're going to go as the Hunter. Higher projectile velocity, better aim, and we can mark enemies. Pretty interesting character. Um, let's jump in and see what the uh, different skins are first. Reach the palace without picking up a weapon as Hunter. Ooh. And kill an ultra sniper bot as Hunter. Okay, let's let's try and do the first one and not pick up a weapon. Uh, it seems kind of difficult. So basically, we can mark enemies, and it basically means that it'll always aim at them, no matter where I'm aiming. Even if I'm aiming that way, it'll always hit them. And I think they also take more damage um, if we do that. But yeah, not picking up a weapon seems like it's going to be kind of tricky. But um, an interesting challenge. Reaching the palace without picking up a weapon. That's quite far to go, but I like the idea behind it. But yeah, being able to just mark every enemy like this, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Like I said, getting the extra damage bonus is very nice. A little bit of that to go. And, I mean, I don't really need to be pick, uh, opening weapon chests. Although they do give you some ammo sometimes, so it's not all bad. It's not all bad. Um, and it is a bullet weapon, so I guess there's quite a few things that could benefit us here. I mean, trigger fingers is a great one already. I like the trigger fingers. And yeah, anything that's going to help us with bullet damage is going to be good. Well, bullet, um, like, ammo efficiency and damage is going to be good here. Oh, hello. We're only doing nine damage a shot right now, so yeah, we definitely need more damage. I mean, it's not terrible, but it is definitely going to get uh, difficult later in the run with the amount of uh, flaws we got to go through here, so... Max targets take 20% more damage. I think that sounds great to me. Let's go for that. So it's got a slightly different targeting now. Yeah, scarier face as well as um, the one that reduces our HP and gives us damage are going to be really nice here. Oh, bugger. A really bad hit there. But yeah, we want to be marking every target we can. For that extra damage bonus. And also, like I said, it means that we aim at them easier and our accuracy is better. So, it's good in many facets. Good, good. No weapon picked up yet. Still got to get to the palace first. That's quite far to go. Quite far to go indeed. You can see this thing's got really good range. This weapon, the sniper that we've got going on here. It fires really fast as well. I mean, it's kind of like a shotgun sniper more than anything. But it's pretty beautiful. I like it. A bit of overheal going on there. That's always nice to see. Triple assault rifle. Kind of a long hallway here. We got through it though. Nice. Up to level 4 as well. Uh, extra fire rate is nice. Um, yeah, let's go for the extra fire rate. Don't think we'll need it too much, but it's good to have. You just got to right-click after every kill, essentially, with this character if you want to take full advantage. Okay, good, good. We don't really need to go into the uh, the vault there, really. We're trying to get the te get to the boss at uh, the palace as quick as we possibly can here, so... Whoopsie. Bad hit there by me. Don't know what's going on with that flame director weapon. It doesn't seem to be liking where it's uh, being moved to. Unfortunately, we haven't got any extra damage other than the mark damage so far. I throw in butt damage, should I say. But, hopefully Scary Affair shows up soon. Okay, some health there. I should try and get that. Okay, get that guy out of the way before it becomes a problem. Okay, this extra fire rate when we're focusing on one target is really helpful. Now, bosses like this are going to be slightly problematic with this setup. But yeah, the extra damage and extra fire rate prove to be very useful. There you go. Beautiful. Is that not it? There's always some birds about. Oh no, it's just you guys down here. Thought it was some bird that had flown off. Um, air and intestines with all the spamming of um, spamming of right click we're doing could be pretty good. I 
I know that it means that it doesn't charge up and do as much damage. But still, it's still a little bit. And it's kind of like a close range fuck you. Like if things get too close to me, I can use that and get them off me. Good, good. Grenade shotgun, no thank you. Hardest thing here is going to be dealing with the next boss that's coming up after this area. Alright, what's left? Good, good. We're getting a lot of drops. Puffy Cheeks is always good. We'll go with that. Make sure I don't stand in the middle here. And this is going to be a little bit of a lengthy fight, so I've got to be kind of careful here. Never stand in the middle. Make sure I don't get hit by too many of these lasers here. Okay, good. Got through that fight nice and easy. Got all of our ammo back. And we've just got to get through this area now, and we're through to the palace, I think. The amount of ammo drops I'm getting is kind of insane. My ammo is constantly looking really good. But yeah, Puffy Cheeks is really nice with this setup. Okay, got you. Little Hunter's going to be a little bit annoying, I reckon. Okay, make sure that guy doesn't have his car. Do not like the ones that hold cars. Dude, yeah, why is everything dropping so much ammo? Is that just like a byproduct of this character or something that I didn't know about? Okay, nice. We are through once again. And last area of this area. Trying to blow up the car before this fucker picks it up. Okay, we got him. Nice. Don't have to deal with that bastard anymore. Okay, things are looking pretty good so far. Dude, honestly, I'm so glad I took this alien intestines thing. It's super, super useful whenever we're locking onto enemies to do that extra bit of damage. Because it, like, reaches around corners and stuff. It's ace. There we go. And eagle eyes could be pretty good here. Oh, still got another stage to go. I forgot about this one. I'm going to be a little bit worried about the boss that's coming up here. Sadly, there's still no scarier face, which is annoying. Hoping we would have had that by now. It's good as well, because the longer we go without uh, shooting, the, the more our alien intestines goes, like, gets crazier, and the more our puffy cheeks reloads. Cool, cool. I'm, I'm really getting worried now that I'm not going to do this. We're so close. Cool, the webbing does not fill me with herp. Not to destroy some of the rocks here is very nice. Okay, this is the guy that I'm most worried about, I'll be honest. Luckily, it's actually easy to hit him with this setup. Because we can just keep wailing on him with this. I guess it's got to be almost dead here. Okay. We did it! Huzzah! I feel really good about this. I was really worried about that dude. But we've made it. 
I'm feeling good that we can make it further at the minute. I'm feeling good that we're, we're able to make it in situations like this. I can start picking up new weapons now as well, which is going to be kind of nice. Because this weapon is doing okay, but I would very much like something that did a bit better. Bouncer laser rifle. It is cursed, so, but I'll take it anyways. We finally get one of the extra damage things, but I think we're a little bit too late for that now. Let's just take boiling veins. I can still lock onto people with other weapons as well. It doesn't have to be the sniper. Oh god. Dude, the moment I put it down, I die. <laughs> Should have just stuck with the weapon I knew. Um, left click to main menu. Let's quickly go back as this guy and check what our alternate skin is. Ooh, that's pretty cool. And the other one is killing a golden sniper bot. Um, one of the ultra golden ones, which is not too hard, actually. I like this alternate skin, though. It's pretty cool. But of course, we're trying to unlock everything we can here, so... We want to go for all the alternate skins, regardless. Some of them require us doing things on other characters and stuff. Like, getting a gold weapon on every character for YV is kind of tough. Go with that 30% damage bonus. If we get thingy, um... Thrown butt again, we're up to a 50% damage bonus already, which is pretty damn gnarly. I like the idea behind that. Good, good. That's not it. We got one guy all the way up here, look. That I missed earlier. Cool. Good, good, good. Yes, I like this setup. I'm just trying to think what could make this even, like, this weapon even better. Because it's a really, like, as, as, as far as starting weapons go, it's a, that was a very bad hit. So it's, it's a very strong starting weapon as far as starting weapons go. Beautiful. Get me back into full HP. We need to take second stomach if we can to make sure we stay at full HP. Let's take Power Craving here. I love sniping rats in a barrel. Get out of here, you. But yeah, I like the auto lock just to make aiming way less of an active thing. I just gotta lock on and then from there on I'm good to go. Get off me. Rats always do that where they like kind of stick to you. Um, ah, oh, it's a rifle. I thought it was a grenade launcher. Okay, good to go. Beautiful stuff. Um, take trigger fingers again here. I think trigger fingers is something I should try and take every single time. It's so goddamn good late in the game. It's not that good early on. It is useful, but it's, it's not as crazy as it is late game. Late game, it gets nutty. Get out of here, you. It's really good with um, bow weapons, actually. Anything bolt-based. Really, really good with this. Need to get back up to full HP to get my damage bonus going again. Oh, bugger. Caught by a random shot. It's okay, we shall prevail. We shall prevail. But yeah, we need to get to loop so we can find one of those ultra sniper guys. They're not super common. That was a really bad first floor for XP. Not like hardly any rads there. Good old pop rifle. Do like the pop rifle. Beautiful. Level 2. Thing is as well, I don't need to use the ability, I just kind of 
do use it a lot, but I don't have to. Um, absorbing pause is really good for just getting extra um, rads throughout a run. But like with, with this situation, we don't really need to use the ability so much right now. On certain weapons, it's going to be really good. On other weapons, it's going to be kind of secondary. She's going to be good on bosses as well, where I can just leave it aiming and do what I want and focus on dodging. Good, good, good. Thrown butt again. Um, we shall take... I think throwing butts want something I'm going to want to take every time as this guy. A solid 20% damage upgrade against basically every target, because I can just mark every target, is real good. Like I said, it's mainly going to be useful against bosses. But... Oh, hello. Wasn't expecting that. I'm going to see if I can find the XP first. Okay, no. Not as expecting to get there. I think I already got the XP thing from somewhere else. Let's go down into the reversed area. We'll go with the crossbow here. Good, good. Got to be very careful against some of the enemies down here because they are spicy. Like that one that just hit me. Oops. It's always scary going down really long corridors like this. Okay, I've only got two ammo left on this thing, so let's be careful. Adding some herming onto it seems like a useful thing for us. Go with that extra ammo. Oh, we've entered YVs. I wasn't expecting that. Splinter yo-yo gun. That seems pretty amazing. I want to see how this works. And I'm using two things with the same ammo right now, which isn't ideal. I know I just put this thing on this, but I'm going to take the heavy crossbow here. That Herman was a little bit useless. I don't, I don't get where the splinter's coming in. I'm not seeing it splinter. Golden pop gun's kind of good here. Nice to have a golden weapon unlocked unexpectedly. Oh, actually, one second. We can go and do this. I don't want to go through. Ah, bugger. I'm stuck. I lost my yo-yo gun. Okay, so we're through to this area now. So this thing has slight herming. I wonder how good that's going to end up being. Holy shit. Okay, this is very tricky. That's where he is. Okay. That sorted things out. It's these guys that take f two shots from this are pretty fucking scary. Yo, we got through. Nice. Uh, we'll go for impact wrists with this. Impact Wrist is very good with these enemies here. The Herming, unfortunately, is not very good. Not getting much out of it. Oh, didn't see you there. Splinter Mace. That sounds fun. I'm guessing it's just splinters when I hit enemies. Why would I test on these guys, though? Those guys are tricky. Seems like a good thing to take in this situation. Indeed, it does splinter when I hit things. Okay, the cube is on us.
This is gonna be real fucking tricky, I think. Okay, luckily he died pretty quick. Overheal chest, like that. Dude, these guys are really annoying for melee. God damn. Mini plasma shotgun. Fuck off! <laughs> Get out of here! They just keep hitting me. Okay, this thing's- this miss is very good. Bloodline. Bloodline's very good. I'm gonna take Bloodline here. A lot of annoying enemies about. Beautiful stuff. It's a good build we got going on here. I mean, I'm not really using my, uh, my targeting all that much at the minute. Which I ought to be. Okay, let's just focus on getting everything killed first. We can focus on the boss. Yeah, that went well. So targeting I'm probably just going to mainly use on bosses, honestly. Although these guys, maybe I'll also use it on them. Yeah, that was that was basically just You're Dead the musical. What What the hell was that? That was pretty awful. We do have Golden Pop Gun now, though, which I very much like to see. Honestly, let's go straight through here. I can handle it. The Sahara. With a Pop Gun to start us out with, I think it's pretty reasonable we can get through this without completely fucking it up. Okay, let's let's try not to die here. Oh, there's a fuck here! I thought I killed them all. God damn it! I thought I'd got them all, so I was like playing it safe. Well, what I thought was safe, and it was not safe. Um, power craving. Okay, careful with these guys. These little vultures eat things as well, gotta remember that. Like they eat bodies and heal up, and I, th I, d I don't know if they grow in power, but they definitely grow in health. Uh, yeah, god damn it. That's the second time now that I've gone there and not realised there was an enemy nestled into a corner. Bloody dog in the corner I walked into. Bugger off with your explosive shots, you guys. At this this stage, you just, you just gotta sort of accept that it's really fucking hard. Oh, he didn't... This guy didn't die! Oh my god. Okay, first of all, could you please stop um, giving me the thingy? I want pop gun. Give me the pop gun. Right, it keeps randomizing to the default starter, but the pop gun is a lot better. Clearing out big areas. Okay. Good to try that again. I'm, I'm determined to go this way now. I am. Um, Eagle Eyes, maybe? Eagle Eyes is pretty good. Helps with the accuracy on this thing as well. Dude, I keep thinking I've killed enemies when I haven't. I need to be way more careful about that.
Good, good. Got three different portals to choose from here. I'm going to go this way because I haven't really been this way much. Um... Go with Rage here. Frost Machine Gun. It's good, but it's not the best. Just trying to get all the rads before they disappear. This stage seems like a good place to get a lot of rads. Big Sharko boy. Running out of ammo a little bit here. Oh, I forgot he does this. And he teleports all the enemies as well. Ammo is fast running out here. Things are, like I said, things are getting real desperate in a second. What do I do here? Is there anything I can do? I have no ammo. I'm guessing there's nothing I can do here, right? I guess I'm just dead. Oh, but he just died. Why why would you why would you give me explosive ammo in this circumstance? Can you can you stop? Dude, no. That is some premium bullshit right there. Oh, I feel so fucking betrayed. And the game spawns me a million miles away from the skull, so I can't even get to it in time. How dare you, game? How dare you? Don't do that again. Blood. Need things with different ammo types, please. Having the same ammo type is clearly not ideal for us. Trying to, like, burst shot so I don't waste too much ammo when I'm firing. It's not always plausible, though. Okay, no other weapons yet. Here's our little skull. Yeah, I'll take that just because it's a different ammo type. Oh, fuck me. Five damage with that hit. Good stuff. Honestly, take the shovel. Then I don't need ammo. Then I don't need ammo at all. Um, Let's take that, shall we? So we get more drops. Take care of these guys. I took Plutonium Hunger as well, so I can suck stuff up. I wish Plutonium Hunger also made it so that it attracted the uh, the cursed ammo drops as well as like a buff to it. Oh my god! <laughs> Boss, so frustrating, man. Triple pop gun? Sounds insanely stupid, but I love it. It certainly costs a good bit of ammo. We are good. We don't we got through this stage finally. Yeah, we can fill up the entire room with pop gun shots now. Now all we need is shotgun shoulders on top of this. All out of ammo. Yeah, that thing's gonna run out of ammo insanely fast every single time. We definitely need ways, more ways of getting ammo. Get out the way of car. Okay, beautiful stuff. We are through. Shotgun shoulders, there it is. Certainly a bit of a gamble here, but 
Willing to give it a go. Yeah, that's pretty fun. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> that's very entertaining. Right, through here we go. Yeah, if there's ever like a tight space, just get some of those shots in there. Oh, we've already activated the boss now. I'm gonna say there's no way he survives that barrage. I have unfortunately run out of ammo again. And he hit me. One second. Alright, let's continue on, shall we? Yeah, definitely our ammo situation is not ideal at the moment, I would say. No, 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 I want my ammo. But, um, if we can get, like, what's it called? The one that when bullets hit, they have a chance to be returned to us. That would be pretty good. Uh, so we'll see if we can get that. Uh, I'm gonna go for more chests here and see if that helps with ammo. Oh, God. Not particularly enthused by how this looks. Do we have Rabbit's Paw right now? We'll take the Scythe, definitely. We do get the minigun there. Yeah, the Scythe is pretty darn good. Look at that. So nice. Okay. This is good. Also, getting more max ammo would be good too. <laughs> You're so fucked. Yep. He uses a lot of ammo, but goddamn does it do the job. Honestly, this with shotgun shoulders is such a blast. I love this sort of stuff. That's why I love uh, this mod. Just so much more crazy shit like this. But it all feels, like, kind of balanced. Because, like, Nuclear Throne is one of those games where you can have, like, really overpowered setups and still super easily get just memed on. So it never feels, like, really, like, crazy. I knew it. I was like, that guy's about to throw that fucking car at me, isn't he? <laughs> I could just see it coming. I could just see it coming. But yeah, trying getting shotgun shoulders when we're starting with this is a, a good shout. Level 2, let's go. Maybe we'll go under the water this time. Um, I think absorbing pause is one of those things that you basically always want to take early on. It's reliable healing um, and getting more rads is always good. Jawbreaker is the shotgun one, right? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> just absolutely shot the bed there. I expected him to charge rather than shoot, so I was like, I'll just stand here and then move out the way when he charges. He did not charge. Cool. Yeah, we'll try and go under the sea for the next one. I don't think that one closes. I think that one stays open. I'll open it early anyways. Yeah. Cool. Good stuff. We are under the sea. Um, take scary face here and hammerhead. Hammerhead for the extra loot. I don't really use the actual wall breaking ability all that much. In fact, I think it's mostly pretty useless, uh, apart from some specific scenarios for certain, like, level gens. Um, but the extra loot that you get at the next stage is real nice. Oh, we got ourselves one of these as well, lovely. Um, we'll take impact wrists here. I love the way this area looks, honestly. Although, you got to be careful because this is, like, all full of poison, isn't it? Yeah, impact wrist is going to help here. Did I get my golden pop gun there? I don't think I did. Okay. Somehow we survived that. We got level 5 as well there from shot thingy. Uh, should we take shotgun shoulders here again? I think we should. I, I was enjoying that last time.
Remember, we've got reliable healing from picking stuff up. Oh, fuck that dude. He needs... I, I've mentioned this to the developer. He needs a nerf. That that guy is... I feel like every single time I spawn with, with him, I just instantly die. Because he just su he does that suck in attack and pulls you into his poison and then just pounces at you straight away. Feels really bad to die to. It's the only thing I'd say so far from the mod that I can really feel is in need of tweaks. There's not much in this game, like, the developer tweaks things all the time based on feedback, so the game always feels pretty, like, up-to-date and balanced. That's definitely one of the things where I'm like, actually, hmm. Maybe that one isn't. Don't worry about it, we're through again. Again, we'll take this for the guaranteed healing and stuff. Beautiful stuff. I just love as well how sort of fast paced this game is with the runs and stuff. Feels really good. Sadly, no inverted this time. I was enjoying the inverted area, although it is a lot harder. Um, take Eagle Eyes again here. I think I probably should, in general, take more defensive stuff. I tend not to. But it's just fun to take stuff that's aggressive. Give me this real quick. Sledgehammer, yeah, in case we run out of ammo. Well, let's take that this time. Dude, this thing's such a goddamn good starting weapon. Heavy blood rifle. Why not? Don't mind if I do. Okay, got out of that with not much health left, but it's okay. Shotgun shoulders I'm taking once again. We're into the fire area now, which is always a little tricky. We need another weapon with a different ammo type, really. Otherwise, we're going to be up shit's creek a little bit. We're getting ammo back, but not nearly enough. Ah, we're going to be in a tricky spot here, I think. It's okay, we managed it just about. Bounce a flat cannon, I'm going to take that. Oh, wait, no. That's still bullet ammo. Damn it. Not really been using my mark ability recently, but whatever. Second stomach is good here. Bouncer weapon's pretty nice here. Basically, it's just a set it and forget it sort of setup. We can fire it off and just let enemies die to it. Okay. Good, good, good. Ion bomb. Ion Bomb seems pretty good, although I'd have to leave my gold pop gun behind, which is kind of sad. Nah, I'm going to keep it, because I've got shotgun shoulders, right? Yeah, I'm going to keep it. I want to work with shotgun shoulders. Heavy revolver. Heavy weapons are always good. Almost died there. Still could die, if I'm not careful. Second stomach helping out a lot. You two can get out of here. Dude, no. Anyways, we'll leave the episode there, I think. I think that's a good spot to leave it off at. That was a lot of fun, though. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.